Greetings, royal family, and welcome to another message by the Honorable Yudhe Wavhe Beit Noon Sophie. Yudhe Wavhe. Now, royal family, this message was taught many years ago by the Honorable Yudhe Wavhe and is being presented to you today by Yahweh's royal priesthood. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at Yahweh's royal priesthood. www.yahweh144 zero 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 dot com and also royal family join us at the university of yahweh where classes are designed for the godhead visit us at www.universityofyahweh.org also, Royal Family, listen to our weekly podcasts by the University of Yahweh, found on most podcast platforms. We look forward to you being there as well. Enjoy, Royal Family. This class lesson begins with I, John, chapter 3, verse 2. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, Yutewape, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Who is it that you're going to see? God! This book is telling us God shall appear. The one that made the sun, moon, and stars shall appear. So you can't let that be taught in the public school. Not that you're an enemy to God. So evidently, all public schools, all schools of man are against God. Hmm? All schools of man are against God. Because they don't want the knowledge of God in their school. Now how many can see what the problem of the world is? What's the problem of the world? The lack of the knowledge of God. Yahweh is the problem with the world. See, without the knowledge of God, boy, you are you are scared to death a man. I mean, man really puts a number in your head when you, you, you don't have the knowledge of Yahweh. You, oh, I might go to jail. We'll put you in jail. You better talk. In America, we have the knowledge of Yahweh. We'll tell you quick, we're already in jail. Living, living under unrighteous men is jail. You can't threaten us with jail. We know we're in it already. They just have big jails and little jails. We out here in the big yard. <laughs> there are some people downtown that's in a smaller yard. Right? Everybody's in jail in America. Everybody. You're not free. Going to the store isn't freedom. Jumping in your automobile and driving to New York is not freedom. Jumping on an airplane plane and flying from here to California tonight, that's not freedom. That's movement. <laughs> you are so tricked up by a man that you think when you're able to just move around, that's freedom. That's not freedom. They lie and tell you free enterprise system in America. Biggest lie ever told on earth. There's no free enterprise system in America. It's not free. Go down and, and, and get you some contractors and just build you a building. 
and see how fast they'll bring an army against you to shut it down. You didn't get our permission. What is permission? It's called permit. And then they have a thousand different inspectors that got their hands out to pass your inspection. See, whether you put it in the individual's hand or not, you put it in the office down there. It's called checks. $200 for this permission and $400 for the electrical permission and $500 for the plumbing permission and $800 for the, the uh, uh, landscaping permission and, and another permission to do the windows and another window. I mean, everything, they even charge you to go to the toilet. We're not free. Put you up a business. Somebody that come running around, do you have a license? Do you have a certificate from the health department? You try to get away from that, you say, well, I'll just, I'll just have me a wagon. I'll just go around and be in business in a wagon. They'll come up, somebody will stop you for that. You got a tag on your wagon? <laughs> you have a petless license? Where's the freedom? There's somebody wanting to regulate everything you do, and they're going to do that. Why can't you and I get together, build us a radio station, and just start talking to each other in each other's home? <laughs> if you're free, huh? Or will the army come and, and uh, put us in jail if we don't have permission in this land of the free? It's a land of a lie. <laughs> The only way that someone can convince me that I'm free is I can build my television when I get ready. I build my station and to hell with your permission. I set my own band, set my own frequency. If I got the money, I ought to be able to build it if it's free. If I can buy the generator, if you don't want to sell me one, I'll create my scientists and make some. And I'll make my own generator. But when I go to put up my radio stations across America, it's going to be an army to come and tell me I can't do that. You said it's land of the free. Yeah, but we got rules and regulate. Well, it's not free then. What? <laughs> well, we have standards. Well, you didn't have standards when you first made them. Huh? The first ones of you that started this stuff in this country, you didn't have no standards, and you didn't have to get a license. So what happened? The ones that made it don't want nobody new to get in. So they set up the standards to do what? Keep you from coming in. So is America the land of the free? No, it used to be. <laughs> and then it never was. Because I was a slave when the country first started. I was a slave in America before it became a country. 200 years before America became a country, I was a slave. Wonder why they don't want the knowledge of Yahweh taught in the schools. The knowledge of Yahweh brings true freedom. True freedom. We shall see him, who? We shall see God, Yahweh, as he is. And verse 3, read. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. See what the knowledge of your father will call? Yes, you learn that your father... Yahweh is pure. Yes, Yahweh. Yes, sir. So when you come into the knowledge of your father, what will you do? Purify yourself. What is sickness and disease? If you have stomach trouble or heartache or stroke or high blood or low blood, what, what does that mean? It means your system is impure. There's something within your body that's impure. Well, why did you put something impure in your body in the first place? 
Because your mind is impure. What made your mind impure? Public school? Man? Because man is not pure. He's impure. So what kind of thoughts do you have? Impure, impure thoughts. But when you have the knowledge of Yahweh, God, and that he's your father, and you're his son, suddenly you want to know, can I be like my father? And he says, yes, son, you can be just like me. That's, that's why you are my son. So, Father, I didn't know you. Well, that's why I am here now. That's why I have appeared. Is to give you the knowledge. Look what you have been missing all of your life. You have not been educated. You have been miseducated. And miseducation has destroyed us from what we should be. Now you can understand why man took the knowledge of Yahweh out of the school books. They teach everything but God. Notice, until God appears, we are impure. We are so impure that we have a job to do ourselves. What is that job we have to do here? Purify ourselves. If you were already pure, you wouldn't have to purify yourself. Why do you have to purify yourself? Because you're impure. I'm saying that over and over and over again for you to have a picture. That means that when God appears, he will be pure. So I come and in the name of Yahweh, I come bearing the name Yahweh. My name is Yahweh ben Yahweh. I have and I am making my appearance among you. So the test is if I am Yahweh ben Yahweh, then I am pure. And if I am Yahweh ben Yahweh, I will cause you to purify yourself. And I will cause you to want to purify yourself. And whatever is impure about you, you're going to purify yourself. That's the purpose of my coming because you want to be as I am. The reason you want to be as I am because you will see me as I am. You will see God as he is. So when you look at me, you will see a beautiful purity about me. And you say, oh, Yahweh ben Yahweh looks beautiful. He is so pretty. He is so good looking. He is so handsome. He's a good looking God. See, what's good looking about me is my purity. That's what looks good. You can see it. You can see my purity. For you that are my true son, you love my appearance. And it's, it's something that's deeper than my body. Why are the people of the earth sick? Lack of the knowledge of Yahweh, their creator. CNN real early this morning, it might have been about 4, 4 o'clock this morning, on the news, channel 36, whatever. They showed pictures of our people in Ethiopia starving to death and without water. And at first they were portraying this like, you know, it's the people's fault. And maybe if they had knowledge of irrigation and agriculture, this wouldn't be going on. 
And then they turned around and slipped and told the reason why all those people are starving to death. And I'm going to tell you why in just a moment. The reason for the starvation in Ethiopia is because Russia is backing the military of Ethiopia to fight Somalia, its landlocked neighbor, which is a political division of man. And guess who is supplying Somalia's army with all their weapons? America. So here are two wicked governments supplying weapons to two supposed countries of the same people with a dividing line that's only on a piece of paper called a map. When you go in there, you can't see no lines in the country. The country is strange. They don't have any lines. <laughs> see, when you get ready to go from here to Mexico, there's no lines out there. <laughs> That's only on a piece of paper. And man has put up a little post and little fence and little gate, huh? And called that border. And he draws an imaginary line on a piece of paper and say, if you step over this, you don't mind. See, the facts are, no part of the earth belongs to man. The whole entire earth belongs to Yahweh, the Creator. And it belongs to all of us, his children. All the earth belongs to all of us. Not me. Preacher, and then man draws some lines on a piece of paper in school and calls out a map and tells you this, these lines is a country and you and your son are supposed to die. For these imaginary lines that he brainwashed you that this is your country. And it's not yours. It belongs to the rulers and the folks that you dying for. <laughs> don't want you to know this in the public school. They don't want you to know in the public school that the earth belongs to your father. And that no man can draw a line against God. No man can do that. Why do the people of the earth accept imaginary lines? Because you're without the knowledge of Yahweh. And it makes you sick in the mind. Imagine you pick up a gun, some fella tells you you got to go and pick up a gun. <laughs> Imagine. I mean, he tells you, they brainwash you that this is your country and the enemy. Who is the enemy? Another fella who is staying on the other side of another line. They have agreed to split the whole earth up with little lines. Huh? And the masses of the people are without the knowledge of the true God, Yahweh, and they are killing each other at the behest of the enemy of Yahweh. So the message that I'm bringing you tonight is what to the world? A healing message. My message will get rid of all laws. For when the moral men of the earth come into the knowledge of Yahweh, they'll realize this earth belongs to Yahweh, and they'll want Yahweh to rule over the earth, then there'll be peace over the earth, because that's what Yahweh is, the author of peace. <laughs> Where is the scripture that says Yahweh is the author of peace? 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33. Read. For God, Yahweh, is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. So if you are not following the author of peace, 
you must be following the author of confusion. What exists on the earth today? Peace or confusion? Confusion. Who's the author of confusion? The devil. Who is the devil? The one who's against peace. <laughs> The devil is the author of confusion. And what's on the earth? Confusion or peace? Then who's ruling the earth? The devil. Is there confusion in Africa? Is there confusion in Ireland? Is there confusion in Europe? Is there confusion in South America? What color are the people that are confused? All colors. All colors? No. Then what color is the devil? All colors. All colors. Now we have to solve the problem some kind of way. See, that's the solution to this problem. I am here with the solution. Now, I have proof for you. You go back to I John, turn back to I John. I have proof for you that the majority of the people on earth want peace. Why, when war breaks out, why do millions of people run to another country? They don't want to fight. What? No, they, they, they fight. Millions and millions and millions of people left Afghanistan and over in Pakistan. Why did they leave Afghanistan? Didn't want to fight. What do they want? Peace. Peace. Why don't they have peace? The author of confusion is in charge. What's the solution? The knowledge of Yahweh. So you need who on the scene? Yahweh. Which is what? The author of peace. See, I'm the author of peace. My message makes me the prince of peace. Now what's the solution to the world problem? All the people of the world that's running from those countries, all they have to do is run to me. I'm the author of peace. Come to the author of peace. Come to the teacher of peace. Come to the restorer of the author of peace. Yahweh is the author. God is the author of peace. So those who are claiming God and practicing prostitution, homosexuality, and drug addiction could not be teaching the true God. Praise Ali. You have all these leaders of religion talking about God and they're going to pray for peace, but there's no peace. Evidently, the true God is not hearing their prayers. <laughs> That's obvious. Some religious leaders have hundreds of millions of followers all over the earth. And when they were ruling, there was no peace. And up until this day, for the last 6,000 years, they have not brought peace. But yet I produce peace among my followers. All among my followers, I have peace. Because I'm the author of peace. So there's something unique about my message that will heal you. See, you cannot have peace with your heart hurting. You cannot have peace with your head aching. Can't have peace with your bladder messed up. Can't have peace with your kidneys leaving. Hmm? 
Can't have peace with your lungs burn out. <laughs> Praise God. Burn out. That's right. Smoke it. Yeah. Oh, my lungs hurt. Well, you're doing something to them that you shouldn't do. You're doing something to your lungs that you shouldn't, that you were not born doing. If Yahweh wanted you to smoke, you would have been born with a cigarette in your mouth. You'd have come out puffing. <laughs> you mean that's the only way I can get healed? Is stop doing unnatural things to my lungs? Right. That's what I'm saying. Hallelujah, Yahweh. What a message this is. So sin is the cause of your sickness. Sin is the cause of the sickness in the world. You can have no peace as a sinner. All sinners are disturbed and unhappy. Something is missing in your life. How many of you admit that before Yahweh, something was missing in your life? You feel kind of empty and... Thank God. You felt kind of lost. But if you didn't feel lost, you were lost. Verse 4. Read. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. What does transgress mean? Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Sin is not what your preacher told you. Sin is not what your priest told you. Sin is not what an imam told you. Sin is breaking the law of Yahweh. 